Hi E2, welcome to my home style. I'm Shira Luna. Come on in. Welcome to my house. I've lived here since I was a child. This house has been around since the 80s and it's undergone quite a number of renovations throughout the years. This area where we're sitting in now used to have a really low ceiling. There were windows, but it doesn't have the same feeling as it does now. I feel like it's quite airy. It's definitely brighter than it used to be, and I think it really reflects how I like my images to look like quite bright, sunny, and happy. This is one of the corners I kind of want to show you. This is a Lego piece. This was made by my husband, Gokhoi, that was carved out of Nara wood. Well, a lot of the things you're gonna see in the house, they started out as pandemic projects. So this to me was really quite special and unique and quite fun. And then this piece here, he's been doing for a couple of years already. Since I am a photographer, I collect a lot of cameras. So what he likes to do is surprise me with old cameras. He'll come back from a trip to Bangkal or Japan Surplus and then show me all these cameras. And then he'd be dismayed because I would say I don't have use for them because they aren't working. So what he ended up doing was deconstructing them and turning them into works of art. And then this we also found in Bangkal. And then Koi also restored it, applied a clear varnish. Here's where we keep all our abubots. Since I'm very organized, I actually have labels on all of them, which you can't see because they're in white. I think all the corners in this house have a lot of details. One detail you might notice throughout the house is how much our dogs have ruined the wood. <laughs> so if you see the solihia, my dogs did that artwork. Welcome to the dining room or dining space. This is probably the first major piece of furniture I ever bought. It's Nara. It's very, very old. We found this in Bangkal thrift shop. So when we found this and we saw the benches, I felt like it would be just a great place to have friends over and just have everyone sit casually. I'm not so much a formal person, if you can't tell already. <laughs> I also really like how low it is. I love how soft the color is on the eyes. And I just think it grounds everything. It brings the entire living space together. It also has a secret drawer over here <laughs> so that we don't forget to take our vitamins. And then these doors we also found, I think, either on FB Marketplace or Bangkal Thrift Shop. I believe they were old school doors. Then those handles belonged to our old doors back in the 90s. So even though I didn't like the style, I think we always try to find ways to bring back parts of the old and merge it with our new life. Wow, so deep. <laughs> And then over here, we have a drawer thing situation. I like how it's kind of art deco, but this was also salvaged by Koi, so it was another pandemic project. And in there, we keep all our dog diapers. <laughs> This used to belong to my late grandmother. This is a Yamaha piano from who knows how long ago. Wow, a little wow, bokien. So I try to play once in a while. I'm not very good, but I like having a piano here. There, this is a metronome. Oh, I can't even play the anymore. I firmly believe that we are caretakers of a lot of things in this house. So we try to give everything a little bit of love. It's, it's flat. It's flat, it's very flat. <laughs> and let me just lead you into our tiny kitchen. So this area, I never would have had people in before we renovated. It was very, very dark and dingy. So now we've just painted it white. We've kind of streamlined the cabinets. Again, another DIY project. We just have these white cabinets. We found the center island things in HMR. So again, surplus. And then we just have our usual 
coffee machines. We love coffee. And then this is one of my favorite things in the kitchen. It's actually for tools, but that's where we keep our plates and our utensils and our other tools. I really, really love this piece. I think it's my favorite thing in the entire kitchen because of how useful it is. <music> This is another part of the renovation that I'm quite proud of. I feel so happy when I'm in here. This is our tiny cute bathroom. When we started renovating, I said to myself, if we ever get the chance, I really, really want yellow tiles. I just wanted like a bright, sunny 1960s inspired bathroom. I had no exact pegs for this bathroom since it's very small. There's only so much you can do with a tiny bathroom. I just wanted a tiny sink and a tiny mirror thing. So I also have a little clock that doesn't work, but it's very 1960s, so I keep it in here. And then in all the bathrooms, I have these lights. This is my favorite warmth level of light. I think you can't help it if you're a photographer, you're always very particular about the light. So I wanted a warm light, but you know, if your eyes hurt, you can just make it daylight balanced or kind of this drab light, which we don't like. So let's do this warm light. <laughs> my favorite color is not yellow, promise. The bathroom is yellow, this is yellow, but it's not my favorite color. It just happens to be very 1960s, which is why I like it. And then I have these baskets because I love Jane Birkin. So I have a lot of baskets around the house. I also have a tattoo of a basket over here. Welcome to the landing of the house. This used to be a living room, sort of living room as my mom called it. We used to have wicker chairs here, super 90s. So when we renovated, we just made it into a kind of living room or a place we keep our records. We have over here a mirror that we found along the road. I think we got very lucky because these are inlays. And I think it's kind of rare to find secondhand and for such a cheap price. And then I have these cute orange lamps. And then we have old speakers. And then Koi made these stands for them. So these are also reclaimed Nara pieces. And then my favorite records are over here. Of course, we have the Beatles. Tennis and then St. Vincent and in fact record sleeves sometimes inspire a lot of my shoots. I love album art so I try to incorporate that as much as I can when I can. This I found inside a record when I was thrifting in Echo Park in the States. I think I got it for two dollars. So this is my little shrine for my vinyls. Oh and this thing. So my husband, Kohoi, was in a band decades ago. I'm not gonna say what decade. And this was one of their first ever concerts. So that's him. Whoop. That's it. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Hello. I just want to show you this book. It's so cute, it's very vintage, and it's actually useful. It's a school thesaurus. So if I run out of words later, we know where I'm going. Um, and before we enter, one of my favorite parts of the house, I just want to show you my Beatles wall. I'm a big fan of the Beatles. I even have one of their bass guitars tattooed on my arm. Let me take you into the closet, which actually used to be just the roof. So come on. Welcome to my happy place. Super, super happy place. The others are happy places, but this is like super, super, super happy. This is where I keep my perfume collection. This is a bookshelf, which I found on FB Marketplace. And believe it or not, I use every single perfume that is in here. I also like pretty bottles. I'll show you some of the pretty bottles. So this is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I just love how it looks like a poster from the 90s. And then underneath, I have my vintage glasses. I love eyewear, so sometimes they don't even have frames, but I really like the character they give. This is my dressing area. This is a piece I really, really, really love. This was a present to me on my birthday, I think back in 2018 or 2017. It again resembles something from um, the Jane Birkin era. So 
This is a 1960s-ish inspired piece. And then this is so out of place, but I don't think anyone knows this about me, but I really love Game Boys. And then this is one of my latest finds. It's a tiny pin. I found this in Las Vegas in an estate. No, I think it was a vintage shop. And this, I think, helps me dress because it's a color wheel. So you can view the triadic colors and you can view the complementary colors. This is really, really helpful. So I guess if you want to dress more colorfully or if you want to be more bold about your choices when it comes to color, definitely get yourself a color wheel. Okay, so I was just contemplating. I think I have too many things. <laughs> um, but if you see this entire wall, these walls, they're not really walls, they're doors to my clothes, they're portals to my imagination. Wow, so deep. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one part of my closet. I actually have a closet tour if you wanna check it out. So I won't be showing everything, but this is, I think, one of the most colorful parts of my closet. So this is where I keep all my colorful button downs, specifically button down and long sleeve. So I really love my long sleeve things because I try to protect my tattoos as much as possible. So the prints are 60s, 70s. This bag is from the 60s. I found this on eBay and we are gonna wear it just for this section of the video. Then we're at shopping. I will show you some novelty prints and you can see the details. They're always so different. They have these buttons on the cuffs and this entire space gives me so much inspiration day to day. So even if I'm not shooting someone, I think the way I dress, I, I guess reflects what I'm thinking about or what I want to shoot in the future. I'm so, so happy here. I'm not sure I have a proper tip to give people who want to achieve this sort of mishmash of things because the way this really came about was we just bought things we liked and thought fit into our idea of what a cozy, interesting space should look like. But I think it's come together because we're both fans of things that have been used. And I think there comes a certain respect for the items that you bring into your house. So I think that's what makes this place feel like one functioning, happy, sunny place. So I guess that's my tip. If you like something, buy it, learn to love it. If you don't love it anymore, find someone who will. And maybe not to be too precious about things or trying to follow pegs because we had no peg at all for this house. We just plucked out things from flea markets and swap meets and just enjoyed them. Secondhand is a good way to go, but also seek out help like E2 Home <laughs> for more inspiration. Thank you for visiting me today. I hope you had a great time. I'm very sad to see you go because I don't have friends. Joke <laughs> But come back anytime. See you soon. <laughs>